You cut back on sugar. You avoid fried foods. You chose eggs for breakfast because you were told they're a smart, protein-rich choice. So let me ask you something that stops a lot of people in their tracks. Why is your cholesterol still going up? For many adults over 60, this is the most confusing moment of all. You leave a routine checkup feeling confident, only to hear your doctor say your numbers look worse than last year. LDL is creeping higher. Total cholesterol inches up, and quietly, a troubling thought appears. What am I doing wrong? Here's what almost no one explains clearly. After 60, cholesterol problems rarely come from obvious bad foods. They come from small, familiar habits that once worked perfectly fine, but no longer do. Eggs sit right at the center of that confusion. They're natural. They're filling. They've been praised, blamed, and debated for decades. Yet for many people after 60, the way eggs are eaten can quietly push cholesterol in the wrong direction without causing a single warning sign. Hi, I'm Dr. Ethan Grant, a nutrition specialist focused on senior health, and today I want to help you finally make sense of this. I'm not here to tell you to give up eggs. I'm not here to scare you or contradict your doctor. Instead, I'll show you five very common egg mistakes people over 60 make. Mistakes that don't feel dangerous, but slowly work against your heart over time. If you enjoy eggs and want to protect your health as you age, stay with me. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to change and what you can safely keep enjoying. Before we get into the first mistake, there's something important you need to understand. Your body at 60 is not the same body you had at 40, and that difference matters more than most people realize. As we age, the liver becomes less efficient at processing fats and cholesterol. Insulin sensitivity gradually declines, which means your body has a harder time handling the same foods it once did with ease. On top of that, low-grade inflammation becomes more common, even in people who feel perfectly healthy and take their medications as prescribed. None of this happens overnight. It's slow, quiet, and easy to miss. That's why many older adults are shocked when cholesterol numbers begin to rise despite eating better than they did years ago. Here's the key point. Eggs don't suddenly become harmful after 60. But the way your metabolism responds to them changes. A food that once fit easily into your diet may now place a heavier load on a system that's already working harder. Once you understand this shift, the mistakes people make with eggs after 60 become much easier to spot and much easier to fix. And this brings us directly to the first mistake. Because it's not a dramatic one, and it doesn't feel wrong at all. In fact, it's something many people believe they're doing right. Mistake number one, eating eggs every day after 60. For years, eggs have been labeled a healthy staple. So when people hear that eggs are good for you, they build them into a daily routine. One or two eggs every morning, same breakfast, same portion, year after year. The problem is that routines that worked in your 40s don't always work the same way in your 60s. After 60, your metabolism slows. Your liver processes fats and cholesterol less efficiently. Physical activity often decreases, even if you stay relatively active. When eggs are eaten every day in this new metabolic environment, the total cholesterol load can quietly add up. Not because eggs are bad, but because your body now handles them differently. I see this often in people who say, eggs are the healthiest thing I eat. When we look closer, they're usually low in fiber, low in vegetables, and spending more time sitting than they realize. In that context, daily eggs can gently push LDL higher over time, even when the rest of the diet feels sensible. The key takeaway here is simple. After 60, frequency matters more than the food itself. 
Eating eggs occasionally may be perfectly fine, but eating them every day without supporting habits can slowly work against your cholesterol. And this sets the stage for the second mistake, because it's not just how often you eat eggs, it's what you eat them with. Mistake number two, what you eat with eggs matters more than eggs. This one catches a lot of people off guard because eggs themselves are rarely eaten alone. Think about the classic breakfast most of us grew up with. Eggs paired with bacon or sausage. Eggs next to white toast, pancakes, or buttery biscuits. For decades, this combination felt normal and even comforting. But after 60, this pairing becomes a problem. The cholesterol in eggs is not usually the main issue. The real trouble starts when eggs are consistently combined with highly processed meats, refined carbohydrates, and industrial fats. These foods raise blood sugar quickly, increase insulin spikes, and promote low-grade inflammation. Over time, that inflammatory environment makes LDL cholesterol more likely to become oxidized and harmful. In other words, many people blame the egg when the real damage is coming from what's sitting next to it on the plate. I often see seniors remove eggs entirely but keep the same sides, toast, processed meats, sugary condiments, and their cholesterol doesn't improve. That's because the inflammatory trigger was never the egg in the first place. When eggs are eaten with vegetables, fiber, and healthier fats, the body responds very differently. Blood sugar stays steadier, inflammation remains lower, cholesterol is handled more efficiently. The takeaway here is important. Eggs don't exist in isolation. What you eat them with can quietly turn a decent food into a cholesterol problem or help it remain a neutral, even supportive part of your diet. And that brings us to the third mistake which has less to do with food choices and more to do with how cholesterol numbers are misunderstood after 60. Mistake number three, why LDL alone misleads you after 60. When most people hear the word cholesterol, they think of one number, LDL. If that number goes up, panic sets in. Eggs are questioned, foods are cut, and fear takes over. But after 60, Cholesterol is no longer a single number issue. Your body handles fats differently as you age, and that means LDL needs to be interpreted alongside other markers, especially HDL and triglycerides. LDL on its own doesn't tell the full story. In fact, many older adults have slightly elevated LDL but also have low HDL and high triglycerides, which point to blood sugar imbalance and inflammation rather than a problem with dietary cholesterol. This is where eggs often get blamed unfairly. Eggs can raise HDL, the so-called good cholesterol, in many people. But when someone sees LDL rise without understanding the full panel, Eggs are quickly labeled the enemy, even when the real issue lies elsewhere. I've seen people remove eggs completely, only to find their cholesterol numbers barely change. That's because the underlying drivers, poor insulin sensitivity, lack of fiber, or chronic inflammation were never addressed. The key takeaway here is this. After 60, cholesterol should be viewed as a system, not a single warning light. Until you understand the whole picture, it's easy to blame the wrong food and miss what your body is actually trying to tell you. And this leads directly into the fourth mistake, which many people believe is a safe solution, but often creates a new problem of its own. Mistake number four. The yolk isn't the real problem. When cholesterol numbers start to worry people, the first reaction is often to separate the egg and keep only the whites. It feels like a smart compromise. You still get protein and you avoid the cholesterol in the yolk. But after 60, this approach often misses the point. The yolk is where most of the egg's nutrients live. 
It contains choline, which supports liver function, along with lutein and vitamin D, which play important roles in brain health and inflammation control as we age. These nutrients actually help the body process fats more efficiently. Removing the yolk doesn't just remove cholesterol, it removes support. The bigger issue is that many people remove the yolk but keep the same eating habits that cause trouble in the first place. They still lack fiber. They still rely on refined carbohydrates. They still miss out on healthy fats that help regulate cholesterol balance. So cholesterol numbers don't improve and frustration grows. Here's the reality. Cholesterol problems after 60 are rarely fixed by subtracting one part of a food. They're fixed by improving the overall metabolic environment. Removing the yolk might feel safer, but it doesn't address insulin sensitivity, inflammation, or nutrient balance. That's why this mistake feels logical, but often leads to disappointment and it sets us up perfectly for the fifth and final mistake, one that has less to do with what you eat and more to do with when and how you eat it. Mistake number five, timing eggs wrong can backfire. This is one of the most overlooked factors after 60. Many people focus only on what they eat, but when and how they eat can matter just as much, especially for cholesterol and metabolic health. As we age, digestion slows and the liver follows a stronger daily rhythm. Eating heavier, fat-containing foods late in the evening places extra strain on a system that's already winding down. When eggs are regularly eaten late at night or as part of a very large, protein-heavy meal, cholesterol processing becomes less efficient. Another common issue is eating eggs too close to medications. Eggs are rich and filling and when combined with certain morning medications, they can slow absorption and alter how the body responds throughout the day. Over time, this can indirectly affect cholesterol regulation. Portion structure matters too. Piling multiple eggs into a single meal while the rest of the day is light can create metabolic peaks that the aging body struggles to smooth out. After 60, the body responds better to balance than to extremes. The key insight here is simple. Eggs don't need to be eliminated, but they do need to be placed thoughtfully. Eating them at the right time, in the right portion, and within a balanced meal can make the difference between supporting your health and quietly working against it. And now that you understand the five mistakes, let's bring everything together in a way that actually works for your body after 60. Now, let's take a step back and put all of this into perspective. Eggs are not the enemy, and they don't suddenly become bad once you turn 60. What changes is your body and the way it responds to habits that once felt harmless. The five mistakes we've talked about today aren't loud or dramatic. They're quiet. They build slowly. And that's exactly why they're so easy to miss. Healthy aging isn't about cutting out every food you enjoy. It's about understanding your body better than you did before and making small adjustments that support it. For many people, eggs can still be part of a heart-conscious diet when eaten with the right frequency, the right foods, and at the right time. If this video helped something finally click for you, consider subscribing to the channel. Each week, I share clear, practical nutrition guidance designed specifically for adults over 60, without fear, without extremes, and without confusion. And if you know someone who eats eggs every morning and worries about their cholesterol, sharing this video could genuinely help them. Your best years deserve nourishment that works with your body, not against it.